Rambo, so it was you all along? Yes, it was. Betrayer. <laughs> what you have done will hurt you one day. Shh. I am the hunter. And you are the hunted. Hmm? <laughs> you bypassed the code. You manipulated my trusted member. Mm, oh God. And took over my seat. X. You fail to understand that there are powers. And there are powers. Brother, I have seen powers. <laughs> Ah, uh, your problem is you have limited yourself to the scope of the school. <laughs> but I, I have climbed higher to get what I wanted. I made you ah. what you are. Ah. Ah. I taught you everything you knew. I indoctrinated you into this court. You are my boy. Now! I am your master. I am your capone. And you bow to me. I bow to no one. I'm your boss. I see you in hell, boss. <laughs> Spread the news. The new boss is in town. My name is Philip Oyelaya. Um, that is in short. But Philip Olamide Oluwashoga Oyelaya is my full name. I'm an actor, I'm a filmmaker, and because I do a lot of stuff, I can say I'm a serial entrepreneur. Um, yes, I'm someone interested in business, in media, and um, in people. Yeah, let me put it that way. So, um, I'm a graduate of um, Agriculture and Resource Economics from the, from the Federal University of Technology, Accra. And um, I'm, a, I'm single. I'm in the waiting room, waiting on the Lord. I brought John. <laughs> okay, and um, I'm the third in a family of five. Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. That's the toys. Behind, behind the, the movies. movies. This is Beyond Entertainment. Oh, Beyond Entertainment. I played the role of Rambo. I paid for a job. That job is not done. So, explain. There was a fatal accident. They all crashed. No survivor. How? You tell me how. Who are we messing with? You gotta know sort of people. The Martin's boy must be kidnapped today. Never. I do no such thing. What did you just say to me? Never. You heard me, old fool. Ask of me! I don't lose. When I want a job done, it gets done. Understood? Oh. You don't lose. But I lost three of my strong men to your job! That loss is on you, not me. I know about the power tussle between you and Sawyer. Do not bite more than you can chew, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you want him dead at all costs, right? Stop. But killing him is not enough for you. So you desperately want a son murdered right before his eyes. Do you know what happens to those who know what they should? 
They run the show. The next time you pull that stunt, I will have my men go you down. Get that in your skull. What do you want? Over the price, when I will get the job done. Do not bite the finger that fits you, boy. If the nails are dead and the fingers are gone, started acting because because it's something I just feel is natural for me. And I just love the vibes natural when I was kind of young. But you know, growing up, it started making sense to me that this can really be something. Um, you know, acting in movies, acting on stage. And um, but after some time when I gave my life to Christ, 2015, um, yeah, but before then I've been acting in churches and all, but it started making sense that I can really use this aspect of my, you know, my talents, this aspect of my life, you know, as for filmmaking, acting and all, to propagate gospel, the gospel of Christ Jesus. So I think what really brought me into acting was just the love. And later on, I found purpose in it. Young man, I have no business seeing you this morning. But an escort that was so close to me insists that I've got to see you. Yes, my lord. So, what do you want? My lord, I am a member of the Red Home Fraternity on campus. I, I, I joined two years ago, my lord. So what has that information got to do with me? My lord, I want power. I'm tired of being a floor member. I want to overthrow the current Capone so that I become number one, most feared leader of all the fraternities in my school, my lord. All your request is just a piece of cake. But the old dose is just beneath my own power. I don't meddle with campus cultism. It's an insult. Go back and tell your father not to bring such an insulting request to me again. Is that clear? My lord, please grant me this desire. And I will bring you sacrifices yearly. Young man, what do you know about sacrifices? My lord, I know death comes before blood. And I know blood comes before glory. No blood and no glory, my lord. <laughs> Your father has taught you well. My lord, grant me this desire. Money, fame, authority, and power. All within the confine of my school, my lord. My, my very first um, gospel movie is actually um, tied to Selling Point. It was produced by and directed by Agbola Dotu. And um, for the first time, I was appearing on the camera, you know, before the camera, and um, I felt like, ah, one more. <laughs> so this is how it is, you know. I was quite nervous, and, but at the same time, you know, as per what we already, you know, I'm not really this kind of shy person, this kind of vibe by person, but the camera feel, you know, I felt good. I felt like something I can do, you know, but deep, deep in my heart, <laughs> deep in my heart, I was very, very nervous. Yeah, let me just read that. So, but the, the, the turnout, because we actually shot that film in a university environment, 
the tunnel was very okay, very, very massive because um, people really didn't expect that students could come up with something like that, especially in a setting whereby it's not really um, a social gathering, it's a theoretical school, it's a science school, you know. So seeing students produce this kind of stuff and it is godly, ah, the tunnel was okay. And from there, people started showing interest in that environment, you know, in filmmaking, especially godly, you know, um, movies and all. So that is just it, yeah. I felt all right. I felt, I felt, wow. Ah, maybe something, something you can do. That is just all. There's not really a special feeling like that. <laughs> what really supersedes all is the purpose of God for our life. The movie, after the movie, not dead. Yay. <laughs> initially, initially, me, in my face, naturally, people just tell me that, ah, you look like, you look like this Jim 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 guy. Like, your face is always hard sometimes, and sometimes it's just. Uh, now people seeing the movie not there, and I feel like ah, this guy, Philip, this is how you're gonna. It's a lie, you. You know, I'm not like that. I'm the cruise guy. You know, I like catching cruise a lot. <laughs> I'm the very very free type, someone I can play a lot. But after watching that movie, people, you know, started looking at, I mean, this guy is truly, truly strict guy. This guy is really, really, this, this guy, you know, this guy must really be a heartbreaker. Yeah, a heartbreaker. But the truth is this, uh, I'm not that kind of person. And um, the vibe is, people really, really had negative, you know, had really had negative vibe around me taking that role, maybe I'm this kind of personality. But truly, truly, a lot of people that have really met me and you know, you know, we've talked and all feel like you know, this guy is opposite, you know, what they saw in Noted. But really, that thing is a very making sense thing. I like that, and I love that role. That role. I love that role. Yeah. Richard, wait for me. Tara. You knew quite well that your genotype is AS. And you told me, you lied to me. How could you? How could you? I can't take this any longer. My dad's genotype is AA and my mom's too. Can you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself, baby girl? I am a medical doctor and I've practiced for two good years. What you're saying is unlikely. It's like someone doesn't know what we're talking about here. The genotype is a set of genes in our DNA. It is the genetic constitution of any individual organism. It is the sum total of the gene transmitted from your parent to you as your spring. So it is unlikely for your dad and mom to be AA and you AS. No! So, so what are you insinuating? Your mother. It's actually traumatic to think about it. Oh girl. So you mean the same Randy was a mother's boyfriend? Ah ah. We men. We men. Kai. Open your long. Ah ah. For my informant. I heard that he was dating Tara's mom before she got married to Mr. Cole. Hmm. You know I'm a medical doctor. Yes. And I know how those things work. It is very much unlikely that Mr. and Mrs. Cole will be AA and Tara will be AS. Quote me. Sure. You said that the genotype result shows that Tara is AS. Then Randy must be AS too. Because mathematically, biologically, and then statistically speaking. But <laughs> the <laughs> Mr. Randy is the father of Tara. That means Tara is not Miss Tara Cole, but she is Miss Tara Randy. Mm. Tara Randy, Randy, Tara Randy, Randy, Tara. Wow. 
You can say that again. That sounds nice. Kai. <laughs> you can say that again. But um, um, I actually just feel for Mr. Ko, you know. The poor man. He's been nursing her from, from birth. Kai. We may. We may. So what next now? Ah. Aribat. Ti waju ba se nlo. Eyan sha a se pada si. Rich omo buruku ni e. Ata wi ti zo. Oga. Omo buruku. Hello baby. Hello sweetheart. How you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Just to let you know I'm missing you. She says she's missing me. <laughs> Who is that? Rosalyn, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. I always love you. Oh, I love you, baby. Okay. I acted Jesus. <laughs> I act, no, is it Jesus or the role of the Holy Spirit? I got the role of the Holy Spirit in a copillary. And um, in games. <laughs> In games also I accept Jesus or the role of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And um, there's this movie, Flames, a very positive role also, Flames. Yeah, a short movie too. Yeah, I think those are the, those are, you know, I, I, we've had quite I've had quite of you know quite a number of films that have acted positive roles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is the end of today. But the truth is this, I've always said this, people have really, I know, always asked me that question that have you, have you done any Nollywood stuff before? The truth is I have not done, but I've been approached a lot, you know, by Nollywood filmmakers. Even when I started, you know, um, having interest in filmmaking, acting and all, you know, I've had friends or let me say people, big, big guys and big, big uncles, you know, feeling like, ah, you can do this you can do that come on join i have a friend i didn't i don't want to mention names now you know after meeting them i didn't really feel the vibe because i'm this kind of person i know right from the scratch that my life is you know is being channeled by god there's this prayer i do pray even though i have not really come to you know gotten the understanding really the understanding or even knowledge of god i do pray that lord directly or indirectly you know guide my steps consciously and unconsciously you know, because sometimes we might be, you might be thinking that, ah, I'm doing this for myself, but not knowing that it's God really orchestrating you, you know. So, meeting these guys, these Nollywood guys, I didn't really feel it, but I didn't know why. I didn't really feel the connection. So, yes, they have approached to me and I've turned many down, many, many down. And even the normal one that is not really Nollywood, I don't want to start using, okay, let me just mention the Yollywood in quotes, the Yoruba guys, you know, I've been approached, but because I can't see myself in that field, and also it's like, I'm not really, I'm this kind of guy that, I'm this kind of guy that I really like finding purpose in what I'm doing. There must be an essence. Okay, so now, after this, what should, what else? If I ask, what is it giving? What is this mess? Is this a mess? Is it teaching something? Or I'm this kind of person that, you know, think like, if I'm acting as a good mother, truly, truly to myself, am I really good? Because I'm teaching that met I'm teaching that message. Or maybe I'm, I'm a pastor, truly, truly, I'm acting pastor. You know, in this kind of, the other side, I don't want to use, you know, I want to talk about a few of them. You see somebody acting a pastor, but deep, deep inside, this guy is a very, <laughs> an adulterer, you know, he smokes and all. The same person that acted pastor will be in that same set because they never call him for shoot. You see, he'll be drinking just to feel like he wants to stay high. So I really don't, I hate that contradiction. So if I say that this is a person I am, I'm acting that way, I can act a different rules. But deep, deep inside, if I'm teaching a message, then I shouldn't be, you know, I shouldn't be contradicting that message. So, Yes, they've approached me. You're a bloody coward. That's what you are. Okay, okay, Baba. See, I prepare to be a coward. Then fight to someone that claims he has been on the third dimension. What? That... On the third dimension. What? On 
what? On the third dimension. What in the what did they happen now? Uh, why not they look me as if I packed shit for body now? The third dimension? That, that, that's what he said. How did he say it? He said, have you ever caught fire on the first in rank? Order of the secret seer. Those were his words. Nah, it's, it's, it's not possible. But, but, but what's not possible? There are only two people with the keys to the third dimension. The Grandmaster and the first in rank, holder of the secrets here. And the first in rank had a fire accident in the third dimension. But no one knew how or where. This is a top hidden secret, known only to the secret seers of the underworld. <laughs> I'm in trouble. You can't be here. Ah, uh, but, but what, what do you mean I can't be here? You can't be here. Who will protect me now? <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Eh? Your protection is no more in my hands, too. Uh -huh. Okay, so the one of the most challenging, um, one of the most challenging scenes for me was the hand beat, where Rambo was supposed to, yeah, the hand beat where Rambo was supposed to die. You know, there there were a lot of you know mixed feelings around that place, fear, you know, boldness, calmness, and everything together, plus the shouting, you know, the shouting, ah. You know, taking that place like three times or four times or so. Yeah, was it up to four times? Yeah. And I, but the stress and all was really, really affecting my entire body. And around that time, I was, I was health wise, I was strong. You have been dethroned, Rambo. Accept your fate and follow your sword. No! Never! I can never be defeated. No! You have wasted the life of your men. Today, your men will waste your life. Whoever has it goes, pull the trigger. Come on, go. You my man. And truly, if you be man, pull the trigger. I made you who you are. I made you who you are. You can't turn your back against me. You can't turn your back on me! How much? How much did they pay you? I, I could pay you double. Your head is more valuable than your price. Commander needs your head in order to become the head. You can't have my head, buddy. You can't kill a dead man! You can't take me down! 10,000 of you now! Ten thousand of you now! Ten thousand of you now! Don't be take me down! For this Hulu! Commando! I be Rambo! I be Rambo! Ten thousand of you now! Immortal! I know. The other challenging scene is when he met um uh, when he met Drew Sonya. Yeah. When he met Drew Sonya in his house and you know the emotions and all. It was a little bit challenging for me, but I'll glory to God. What do you want? Sit. Not until you tell me what you want. Very well then. I will pay you triple of whatever he is paying you. Oh. 
you know who? If you are not ready to be clear with me, then I have nothing to discuss with you. <laughs> Rambo. That's what people call you, right? That's my name. No. No, no. That's not the name your mother gave you. Don't bring my mother into this. Oh, well. You have brought my son into this the day you received money from my enemy to end his life. So you see, it is as they say, tit for tat. Don't you dare! Look, you take this money, save my son, and I will save your mother. I don't care. I don't care if you are the heart of the secrecy. I don't care if you are the first in rank, order of the secrecy. I don't care if you are Chief Drosoya. Now, take your money. Get out. <laughs> Wow. So you have access to my full name and history. <laughs> <laughs> she must be impressed, right? Very, very impressed. Good. Now, get out. I will. But before I do, allow me to impress you with some names and history. She know. Or Larry Waju. A.K.A. Rambo. How? How, how did you know my name? Nothing is hidden under the sun. Now sit down and let me give you a lecture that will change your life. Rambo. Good boy. <laughs> that twist is, I think it's just the source about that character. Uh, yes, when I read that please, I was like, really? Like, really? Like, really? This guy is a son to the registrar. Wow. With everything I played, you know, from the beginning, you know, that, that place was very emotional. Very emotional and very, very captivating. It's a very, very good storyline. I love that twist. I love that twist. And um, it's just a job. How do I put it? I think the job of that guy to play that role because they had a plan, you know. But for the audience to see that this thing, there's a twist here. And man, I dove my heart for the writer. I dove my heart for the Holy Spirit too, for that creativity. Is it true? Is what true? Chief Sawyer, and all he said about you and my mother. You are not supposed to be here. Are they true? You are not supposed to be here. The world must not know that you are my son. How long? How long will you hide this? For as long as it takes. So, that was the reason you moved us from Kano to disown me. Get your head straight, Rambo. Answer my questions. Are they true? Don't let that old fool sway you from the plan. Move that from one hospital to the other for three years, Dad. Three years, Dad. You want to mess things up now because of some flimsy accusations from a retarded fool? Oh, it's no medical explanation to what she was passing through. <sighs> you see, did we know that you were draining life out of her? I think uh, the, the, the location of her batois you know, it's, it's, it creates this um, environment for you to 
um, number one, to pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is saying, because it's just like the environment is, they are moving by the hand of God. So you need to be also, you know, pay attention, you know, what God really wants you for to do at that time, how the Holy Spirit wants you to play, I mean, how that scene wants to look like, or how you want to play that role, you know, so it's, it's not as if that they already had it planned down. You know, though there are a lot of things done, you know, but that place, the environment is full of love. The director, man, ah, the director, ah, Bordami, ah, Bordami, Ibaba, if you see this thing, <laughs> no, Ibaba is, is blessed with the hand of God, the prince of God, and is this director that can, you know, we can act or be at his best bring the best out of the actor and make the scene very very seamless even some scenes are tech very technical but make it very seamless for people and also the other cast very very good people encourage you you know encourage you um the crew very very respectful loving it's just as a spirit it's, yeah Play out. I get good at talk. Okay, Baba. I don't clear, boss. You sure? Yes, boss. Good. I have an operation for you. And it's a back end operation. We will be needing our skilled guys to pull this out. Rambo, what kind of operation is it? It's a double cross operation. If you're out there and um, you are into courtesy, you know, it is very, very, uh, I can only say that a pray God will pull you out because it's a trap of the devil. You know, just like Rambo um, enjoy the sensation for a while. That is how the devil makes it works for them. You know, you enjoy the sensation for a while and it takes you off. You know, the 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 desire for respect, for power, for honor. Um, if got in from a very wrong platform, you definitely end in destruction. So I pray anyone in that coven. You know, that den, just like Rambo, you know, God will pull you out and please stay away from courtesan. For courtesan is it's a time bomb. It's ticking. Pa, pa. Come on the word! I would advise anyone um, as young as I am that um, there's, there's just this thing I see, I've been saying it, you know, there's this thing I see about young people like me that we do not, we are, we feel that as we grow, we should be free. But the truth is, we need a guide in our life. We need a guide. I thank God for. Um, my father in the Lord and my father in this ministry, Pastor Victor Lukuchu, you know, for daily guidance, daily instructions and all. Um, friends, guys, Alpha, you need a head over your life. You need a guide so that you will be on the right track, not just for yourself, not as per sociality. I'm talking about the right track of God for your life, you know, and also learn to honor people learn to honor people learn to learn to be humble i'm still praying for the spirit of humility but learn to be humble learn to serve learn to be humble learn to serve because god is watching you know our little to contributions our little to effort and in order to be obedient to god when god gives you an instruction to meet somebody meet when god gives you an instruction to stay in his presence stay and when God is telling you do a particular sacrifice, please do it. 
So, my friends out there, please and please, love God from your heart and do His will. Thank you very much. Keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO. And also, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you don't subscribe, it doesn't bite. You know it doesn't bite. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sat. It's an honor and a privilege being here. I really, really appreciate the Benz crew. I appreciate the Benz director. Thank you so much. It's an honor and a privilege I don't take for granted. Please subscribe to PVO, Peter Oluk Olukoju's YouTube channel. It doesn't buy it. This conversation button is there. You see him? It's there. It's there. This is awesome. Wonderful testimony, wonderful story that you have there. May God continue to bless our drama ministers. May God continue to bless our gospel movie makers in the name of Jesus. Please make sure that you keep upholding them in your prayers all the time because they do a lot. They go through a lot to serve us this meal that is called gospel movies always. Please keep them in your prayers. Thank you very much. Until I come your way again with another guest, with another episode is beyond entertainment show with pvo please na bega de bego make una subscribe to this youtube channel now eh? victor luko ju pvo is the name of the youtube channel biko i beg you subscribe it's, it won't cost you anything na bega de beg and don't forget to click on that notification button so that whenever a new movie or a new show is dropping you'll be the first to know Thank you very much and see you next time. Modern entertainment Beyond the applause of men We seek for something valuable And that is the soul of men and that is the soul of man Man and we men So that for God And this is beyond entertainment And this is beyond entertainment Beyond entertainment Keep watching Beyond Entertainment Show with PVO.